how do I think Haringey could have been improved? And I'll give, simply, listen to the people. Um, I think it's quite um, dangerous. I don't really think this place is a bit safe um, because like sometimes people are dying and getting killed around here. You just get like lo lots of like youths and yeah they have nothing else better to do just stand around and yeah. From the parish I think there are lots of things that we could look for such as uh, try how we can help safety in the streets or how we can help the homeless. There could be more to do around here. There's not many nice bars or it's not really a very sociable area. I think to basically just to stop gang on gang violence, that would be nice, like where basically everyone can get on about without going outside and worrying about what you might get into and who you might see or should I be able to go to that area because at the end of the day the world is for everyone and everyone should be able to go where they want to go. Well, I think more community support officers, I think, because I don't think there's enough, there's, there's hardly anyone here anyway. There's not. You don't see anyone walking around here. Um, Harrogate is a good borough, but um, I think that we need more facilities for youths. It's, it's, it's getting better. I think we need more, more stuff for the youth to get involved with. I think there's, there's an issue with um, not enough uh, activity that's affordable uh, for the youth. Spend more money in terms of social accommodation, investing in the youth, the community, so keep things like community centres open. So what I think we need to see in, in, in Herringer particularly is a lot more social space for people to hang out, so youth centres, places where people can, can, can do things. The youth don't feel as though they've been listened to and like I said, they've got nowhere to go. So what do they do? They, they congregate around places. And it's like when you haven't really got nothing to do, you end up just spending your time on the road because there's nothing else to do. So. No, there's a lot of boredom, there's not enough for them to, to do and with all these cuts there needs to be um, I think a few more of those you know those like careers places where they can be advised and, and shown a direction. Um, we all have youth clubs already, um, they're good, it has reduced crime a little bit but I guess if we have youth clubs you know, there's something more and more to help reduce it and then make the, make the place feel more like community then yeah, uh -oh. bring everyone together. Uh, youth organization encouraging the youth to participate in the political issues that is going on to take challenges and to empower because right now there's not there's low employment rate a lot of people are sitting in the house not working so if there's anything we can do at least when people are employed it keep them busy it take them from the street it take them from all sorts of indecent behaviors so I think yeah when if I'm in this area, I'll create more businesses, more opportunities so that people will embrace it and, and, and take care of their future. Because the place was separated. Like, it feels separated. Yeah. So if, if we're all a community, like all one here, like, there be no problem. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. We have problems in Herringay in terms of crime or what have you. Uh, but. 20 years ago, it used to be a nightclub here where people come together and, and dance, what have you. It's not there no more. What we have is businesses like pubs shutting down, um, and, and we'll see a lot more of that. So that's what I'm worried about. We're going to see a lot more young people get into crime because there's no future for them in this, in this area. So I'd like to see more of that investment in, in, in um, businesses, investment in social space. People can use community centres, youth centres, uh, uh, and investment in terms of jobs and, 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 um, and skills in this, in this area. That's what I'd like to see. Tottenham used to be a place where people came to work. We had the biggest factories, in fact the biggest furniture factory in the world, Harris Leapers, down by the river. So things like improved housing, um, better social provision, um, as well as not forgetting that actual people who live here as well. Uh, we think that it's not really um, nice because it's um, it's rubbish around the street, we need to um, clean it more often and you know, make the place a better area and make um, more re recycling. Even, even touching up like the, um, the, res the places in which the residents live in, 
if you give a nice little touch up, then people will feel more proud in living in those places rather than having a situation where they're, they're still run down. So you get the impression, well, no one's actually caring about us. To grow more plants for, um, yeah. I, I understand that there's a proposal to, to um, supposedly improve the area where the indoor market is. The indoor market is full of fantastic little Latin American shops and this whole area really is, expresses the, the, the community and the fact that these shops are still so successful despite the fact that there's a massive Tesco's across the road really says something. Absolutely, what we need is economic development, you know. Um, it's good to walk up and down and to see shops owned by people uh, who look like you and owned by people who care about you uh, rather than having shops like the Tesco's of this world uh, where it's, it's all about people coming into the community to make money out of you. But what we don't need is one of those kind of redevelopment projects that, that the government seems to like to impose on communities where they put a few trees around and tell everyone that it's nicer, but you just end up with a McDonald's, a Starbucks, um, you know, all these, uh, uh, these shops that make every, every community look the same. I would like to see some more improvements with regards to um, schools and education. You know, the reforms that Haringey has put in place, they are actually cutting uh, the funding. They've cut the funding for the children's centres. And I think if you, if you follow the studies that have come out recently, it shows that children's centres are vital in cutting down child abuse. And obviously Haringey has like the worst record. But if you look at what they're doing to the children's centres, it's unbelievable. It's like... <laughs> They're on a different planet. We, uh, we as Seven Sisters Primary School, have taken a stance against what Herring is doing because they're asking us to select certain individuals for redundancy. They're asking us to give them our staff so they can send them to whatever you know, center is open that day or we don't know which, you know. They want to re-interview them for positions that they can't manage. Yeah, we're already short-staffed on children's centres, so how are you going to have one person and four people manage six children's centres? Those are the issues that I have an issue with, with Haringey Council. If they're going to ask us parents and teachers and residents yeah, for our views, then they should take them into consideration. Over the years, I've seen it getting better, to be honest with you. So uh, as long as we continue in that direction, it'll be really good. Thanks. Right, okay. Thank you. This is to the, this is to the people's use, and I'm sure if they really did, that Harry Gay could be as good as anywhere. I found out that interviewing is quite hard, but in the end, it's all worth it. Because look at the shots we got; they're brilliant. I'd like to see everyone just as a community supporting, supporting each other, supporting any new sort of groups or community um, centres. Harringay, I think, the, all the people have told us it's a very misunderstood area. I think they've still got a, a long way to go before we get to our goal. I'm going to go home now and have a cup of tea at the roller bus. So uh, thank, you very much. thank you for listening to my views.